So this is a very, very important update. Um, my doctors have now decided what we're going to do. Uh, and we're going to find out the plan tomorrow. Um, I've not been very well for the last, what, 24 hours, I say. Um, very stressed out. Very anxious, very worried, very nervous. Uh, the doctors don't help when they're arguing over masses in the body and giving you conflicting information, uh, which you'll find if you are a cancer patient or if you've gone through this with family or anyone, you get conflicting information from lots and lots of people. Um, now, they're arguing over the mass of spread and stuff in my side and how much surgery to do and what to remove and how to remove it um, and what we do afterwards. So like we need to know what to do afterwards more than I don't I know I've got to have surgery, but what do we do after the surgery? What do we do to try and stop this from coming back or like killing me? Because in honesty it comes back every like couple of months. Um and it's just getting too much. It is getting too much. And at some point, well, the spread's gone quite high. It's quite, um, if you think my original site is the center of my back, pretty much. Uh, and it's gone all the way up to here. So from the center of my back, it's gone all the way up to here. Um, and into other, other parts of my body. So that, that's quite annoying. Uh, it's not in any like proper vital organs or anything as we can see, but we are having someone else check that at the moment. So I lost faith in my team, obviously. You know this if you've been watching my vlog. I lost faith in my team a long time ago, and it's going to take a lot to restore my faith in a human or a team again. But the last 24 hours has really stressed me out. Um, yesterday my video was misconstrued by um, some people thinking that I'd run away from Claire and stuff and that she was doing my head on or whatever. Nothing like that. You don't see the whole thing of uh, me on my own. And I, I potentially could become quite violent and potentially could become quite a, a nasty person or act out because of this, because I'm on medication for a start. And then on top of that, I've got all this stress which I can't understand. Uh, and I'm not stupid, but I can't understand it all um, because it's not normal day-to-day -day life that people would go through necessarily. Uh, on top of that, I got worries about like where I live or like money and bills and just all this other stuff that goes through life for an adult with cancer. I, I have no home of my own anymore. Um, I just I just bum around at Claire's or my mum's or whatever, uh, and I think they see it as a bit of sponging. And I I don't I don't mean to do that. Um, I just got no no way of doing anything else now. Like it's just a dire situation to be in. Um, <clears throat> it's just hard. But the 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 main thing I want to get off my chest this morning is. That whole thing of body image and how you feel as a human when you go through all this. And I see myself completely differently to how I saw myself before. And I see myself very, um, very, very differently. My compassion level is through the roof. Uh, I have so much heart for other people and I care about people so much. Um, so so much and I would love to do anything that I could for anyone else and I'd do anything I could for anyone else um, and then at the same time my brain is like why, why are you doing all this when you've got to survive <clears throat> but then it's also at the same time this whole thing with the vlog and why do you talk into this camera and why do you do this every day and why do you do it multiple times a day sometimes um, because conversation isn't easy with people. Conversation isn't easy with people on a level of who can I talk to who's not going to be judgmental 
or who can I talk to who's not going to have an opinion or say this is what you should do and for me talking into the camera means the camera is my other person bouncing off because I'm talking technically to myself I'm going through every that's why I pause sometimes for so long because uh, I'm talking here and I'm thinking of stuff and how I want to progress this and how I want to um, try and understand things and it, it's a way of me understanding everything that I'm going through and I said yesterday that Dan beats cancer, Dan will beat cancer, Dan definitely will beat cancer, there's no two ways about it whether I have to go all over the world and try and beat this thing but I also know what my purpose in this whole vlogging thing is going to be and how I'm going to approach it. Now I, I haven't told anyone at all about this but there's a lovely lady uh, named Laura who is transcribing all the vlogs for me and trying to help sort out um, getting people to do sign language on the vlogs as well so we're going to move this in a way as we move forward into an educational platform um, and not just that it's going to be separated so we've got something that can be used by everyone um, absolutely everyone my little brother Ben who I take the mickey out of all the time he has autism and Asperger's um, and my mum and dad run a charity for people with special needs and work so heavily with people with special needs. They have m like million pound projects that they work on uh, doing things like trying to get kids who can't do stuff to do stuff and educate them. My parents have in, in my parents before in Wolverhampton were the people who set up an action network that rebuilt an entire community you think my parents are brilliant my parents actually are brilliant they are people who've done so much for other people that they have never ever wanted anything back and now they're in a dire state because they rely on me to um they were relying on me now to try and bring in money because of my software company and things that i do to help other people and I was trying to help them and I, I can't anymore and it's it sucks that part sucks but I have to get over that fact right but that they're, they're brilliant people and they've inspired me obviously through my life to do more so I want to keep this going as my vlog of, of Dan keeps trying to beat this cancer and I will try and beat this cancer and do everything I can and be as active as I can but I also want to do this thing of building this community I want to build this community because of the emails that I get, because of the things that people say to me and the things that people do to help me. So the things that people are doing to help me, one, they have helped me, one, fund this community for a reasonable amount of time through donations they've given. Um, so that's all been paid for uh, now out of your, your donations have paid for us to now build this community and it have a safe stable platform so that is all set up that's done so that's phase one of that sorted now we're going through the process of building and testing uh, this community and how it's going to work and how it's going to run and that phase will take a little while but I guarantee that once it's done it'll be something that's amazing and on a level that's completely different and I know I've only got like what 2950 followers or subscribers to this channel <laughs> But that makes no difference. Those 2,950 people, you might need support, you might need help. And if you want someone to support you, just smash into the community.peewetoms.com. If you go into there, there's loads of people in our Facebook group that's open at the moment that's trying, we are trying to help people with diverse situations um, and not just cancer related things. We're trying to help people with lots of stuff. And if you can tell, I am passionate about this I am really passionate about this so the next phase for the channel and everything uh, that's going to go forward is I'm going to document every single part of my cancer journey like I am now and then with a group of other people in the future we are going to we are definitely going to be interviewing people who've got cancer or survived cancer or have done things that have potentially been dangerous but cured themselves or things that have not done anything and actually killed people 
So I want to explain to you that this is this is a point of everyone saying to me that alternative therapy does this and it does that. I actually can assure a lot of you who keep saying this to me that the percentage of people that die because of alternative therapies is a lot higher than the potential people that are cured. And if you want to come and have an argument with me in the comments about that, I will quickly not reply. So I know that I know that alternative therapies in in certain ways because I've done the research, don't think that I'm someone who hasn't done the research. I'm going through cancer and want to survive, so I've done the research. But the potential um, deadly consequences of certain things are a lot higher than the potential benefits on certain things. I'm not gonna say what things they are right now because it's not fair without a proper explanation. <clears throat> And um, I have to be careful because I have already been warned by YouTube not to talk about certain things. So it's it's all those those things that are are worrying to me because those things that are a threat to life need to be dealt with quickly because I I don't want anyone who comes to my channel to see something and then potentially be killed because of something that's not going to help them. And don't ever think that coming off a medical plan is a good idea all right i can't i hated my situation and my team and they were getting everything wrong or i felt they were getting everything wrong because they didn't share information with me and there's nothing i can do about that but hope now that they and my new team can coordinate and sort this all out for me now the potential is that those people who have failed me have killed me um but then at the same time, those people who have failed me um, potentially have saved me in the same light because certain things have been done when I've got angry about them with them and I think they've backed down quickly um, and allowed me to kind of win. And you know, like DJ Khaled song, like, all I do is win. That that song, that that is how I'm going to live my life from now. So it's like yes theory. <laughs> It's like, I'll say yes to everything, uh, try everything that I can and pursue every little thing and every little blooming awkward situation thing that I can do. And I will, I will, I will surprise everyone, I'm sure. With... Sorry, my, my camera for some reason ran out of battery. Uh, so I fixed that now. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this channel now is going to become something that's more, more inspiring for other people. I feed off other people and those people really inspire me so i want to find out information from them and ultimately those people i want to use them to understand more about me so like with jc yesterday him saying that he has this like body um conformity like kind of issues for me i have those as well and i feel like i'm not a good looking person anymore because of scars or my teeth because I'm not allowed to have anything done with my teeth at the moment due to like all the surgery stuff and I was supposed to have all my teeth removed and like veneers basically put in I can't have that done I've been waiting nearly two years for that it's driving me mad um so people are wary of doing surgery with me on any other thing that's not this stuff because if it's a catalyst then that's that's an issue. So we need to get to a point where I can have these things sorted. Um, and I, I find it interesting talking to other people. So hopefully we've got some uh, children with cancer that we can talk to. We've got some elderly people who we've, we've got to talk to that we've um, had come into contact with me. And I've got some people who are my age who want to talk about their cancer. And um, I think it's going to be inspiring and I think it's going to be an inspired channel. Um, I'm hoping that at some point we can get this up to um, 10,000 people so we can start the community in YouTube as well. So we can have that so as we can put out updates and in there as well. So any support growing this channel uh, and inspiring other people would be loved. Um, it would be loved because you guys are important to me at the, this point in time uh, and you inspire me. So thank you for everything you're doing. And yeah, thank you for watching this probably very long video. Uh, I don't even know how long it is, but I'm going to put it up in its entirety.
without edits. So I'll just stitch the two videos together and then we'll put it up online. But yeah, thank you for just listening to me ramble and listening to how we're going to do more uh, for this channel and for everyone. Uh, that's a key factor. It's for everyone. So thank you. I'm going to go and uh, get breakfast now. Uh, eat healthily. Ooh. If you want to see how healthy I eat, look on my Instagram. I do eat healthily. I know you guys think I don't, but I do eat very healthily. And I've got a bulk up, so I need to get some protein shakes and stuff in me. So let's beat cancer together. Let's try and do some more uh, inspiring of other people. And if you know someone who's got cancer uh, or is going through it, just send them a text, send them something nice and just say, I'm thinking of you. Uh, <clears throat> because there's nothing better than someone just getting in touch and saying, I'm thinking of you and I, I, I just hope you're okay. Don't be patronizing, but obviously, you know, it's nice to have some of that. So if you want to, oh, as well, I forgot, if you want to get involved in the community and everything, it's community.peewetoms.com. If you want to share your story as well, it's info at peewetoms.com. Uh, send us an email with your story and some photos and stuff. Uh, if you're happy to do that, you don't have to send photos, just send your story, it's fine. Um, and let us know that you're happy to publish it and we will publish it on the community site um, <clears throat> and build it into the system and your, your story will be there forever. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to know anything else, it's in the description. And as always, have a beautiful day and I love you all. And thank you for just inspiring me and looking after me. So yeah, thanks. Bye.